Okay, we are drawing a very detailed nativity scene. Um, and we are going to start uh, down here with the baby Jesus. So you're going to start close to the bottom of your paper. And you're going to make a circle. Put your head. And then a curve. For the body and then a little halo eyes and mouth and then around the baby we're going to draw hay and then underneath that kind of a rectangular shape. And then on either side, we're gonna draw Mary and Joseph. So on the right side here, we're gonna draw Mary. And we're gonna draw a circle for her head. And then we're going to curve down for her body. And then we're going to make our lines go back so that she's kneeling. So it's kind of like a letter L. And then her foot is going to be down here. And then her veil is coming down. And her hands are praying. And then from those praying hands, we're going to go down and then And then we're going to come down and then curve up. And we're going to give her some hair on the front here. And then her eye we see from the side. And her smile we see from the side. And then I just added a little bit onto her foot to look like a sandal. Okay, so Joseph is on the other side. So we're going to try to make about a similar size circle. And then curving down. And this time the body is kind of shaped like a backwards L. because Joseph is also kneeling. His hood is behind him here. So it's like a loop and then a curve. And then his foot. And his sandal. And then also his praying hands. And then we're going to go down from those praying hands and then up and then we're going to come down again and curve into the body and this time it looks like his head is sort of bowing down a little bit more and that's okay going for his hair. Okay, off to the side here, we've got the little uh, sheep for the shepherd. So we're going to make 
make a little face. So that's also kind of like an L shape. I'm going to put a curve at the top. And then we're going to connect it out here. So we're going to do a little V for the nose. And then a smile. And then two curves for eyes. Maybe some little... Uh, a little bit of curliness on the uh, head there and the ears and then the body also has like that cloud curling shape Maybe a little tail and just a suggestion of some little feet there that are curled up. All right, um, we'll go to the other side here and we'll do the cow. So the shape of the cow's head is sort of like triangular. Um, Trying to get a good placement for it. So kind of like a triangle, but with like curved edges. And then the nose and mouth, just two circles and a little smile. And then again, the eyes closed. Everyone's in just peaceful prayer mode. And then the body's going to continue on from the ear and go back. I'm leaving a little space there for the uh, donkey. Um, and then curving down here. Again, just sort of a little suggestion of the legs being curled up so that the animal looks like it's resting down. Okay, so then the horse or the donkey. Um, Gonna make a line coming along the edge here. And then the face, maybe out a little bit more. Maybe sort of like a U shape. And then a down ear. And then one on the other side. And then the rest of the head is curving back. And then probably some mane. And closed eyes again. And a smile. And that time, two little dots for the um, nose, nostrils. Okay. So we have our three wise men and a shepherd. So um, why don't we go over here, back over to this side for shepherd. And we'll make a circle for the head. I'm going to leave a little space and I'm going to make another circle for the um, one of the wise men.
And actually, I think I'm going to come over here and make sure I've got enough space for my other two wise men. The three kings or the three wise men and one shepherd. Okay. So I've got that planned out and so for each one of them I'm just going to curve down for their body. So they are behind and it's okay for them to be a little bit higher up on the picture. So, um, I'm not exactly in the same placement of all the people that I was before in my original picture, and that will happen. So I just have to sort of imagine where you would think you want the... them to be standing and just sort of skip over whatever is in front of them. That way they look like they're behind. Alrighty. Um, so I'm going to go back over to the shepherd here and I'm going to make a little curve across the head here and then fabric along his head and then inside here is face and smile um, so we want the praying hands and we're going to go down on each side of the praying hands and then come up and we're going to give them like a loop and then curve back up. And because this is the shepherd, we wanted him to have the shepherd's hook. So we're going to curve out, kind of like a little candy cane, and then just have like a little hook on there on the end of it. So I'm just following that same shape. And then maybe the rest of the shepherd's hook will actually come in front this time of the other wise man. Okay. Um, so the wise man um, has a crown. Just kind of doubled that up and then just made some triangles on top. And again, some covering for the head and hair. And maybe some hair right here. And then the eyes closed and the smiling mouth. And again, the praying hands. And we're gonna come down and up, and down and up. And then we're gonna make the loop, and the loop, and then curve, and curve. Now I'm noticing I forgot on this uh, shepherd here, I did like a little bit of a, like a collar line and then 
straight way down here for the robe. And on this one, we have more of like a V collar line. And then straight down for the robe. All right, next one. Another wise man. So I'm going to go across the head here. Make it a little bit thicker. And then I just sort of made like one little point. And then the fabric coming down on each side. And again, the smiling face. I made a little bit of hair here. And then the smiling face. Closed eyes in prayer. Prayer, prayer hands. Down and up. And then the loop. And curving up. And then again, like a neckline. And straight down. Okay, now this last person turned out kind of thin here. Uh, I don't see why not. I could make this a little bit thicker, a little wider. Um, just could be more robes. Okay. Um, so on the head here, we just kind of went straight across. And that's zigzag for our crown. Uh, again, the fabric. Okay. There we go. And some hair here. And then the closed eyes. And the smiling mouth. And the praying hands. Down and then up. Down and up. Looping through the fabric. And curving up and up. Alrighty. So that's really the hardest part is getting all the people and the animals, although I also still have the angel to do. So I think I am going to get the window in here. Because that has the star. And up, and up. So I want to make sure I have enough room for that angel. So I'm sort of just going to um, work at an angle here. And Start with her head, or sorry, his head. I always want to make the angel a girl for some reason. Okay, and then curving down. And then connecting that at the bottom. So her arms are going to come out. And then back down. Connecting in. Little hand on each side. 
loop of the robe sleeve and the angel wings. And a halo. And some hair. And the eyes. And a cute smile. And then I made some lines for the robe of the angel. Line across the body. Okay, now, see my angles are like a little bit off here with the window and the um the roof so i uh, just may need to get creative here let's see i would like the roof maybe the angel could be going in front of the roof that would probably solve part of my problem here so if i'm going up from the top here And slanting down, I'll skip over my angel. And then same thing along the other side. And just follow this line along the top here. And along this edge here. So then I can Finish off my window here and here. And then inside of the window, I made the star. So straight up and down, and then straight across, and then a small X, and then I connect from the top to the X, from the bottom to the X, on the sides. To the X and the other side. And then I just added a little bit of a point behind each space. And then I wrote Jesus is born. And Merry Christmas. And then I just made some circles for extra stars in the sky. And I actually colored mine in with... Um, Twistable crayons markers would probably work really well too. Oh, and along the ground here, I forgot. Um, it's where I made some zigzags for the hay straw. And across here too. So this area was yellow and whatever spaces are in between the people. So I wanted to share with you Luke 2, 1 through 20. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea 
to Bethlehem to the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Oh, that was actually cloths. Wrapped in cloths. Swaddling clothes. Swaddling cloths. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this um, artwork, and I hope it turns out just wonderfully for you.